All right, now I know this is not going to be for everybody. I'm going to be straight out and honest. But if you're building a show car and you know that those little details are just as important as the big details, then maybe this is for you. So here we have an engine bay dress up kit from Dress Up Bolts. They are titanium hardware um, and they come in a bunch of different colors. We got them here in red because our Supra is red. Red is actually a hard color to anodize and I, they had to do some secret sauce in their formula for anodizing to get it a right red because most reds are like pink which looks not great if you're going for red. Now these come in seven different colors. You have black, blue, gold, polished, you have red, purple, and then you have true burnt. Now I talked to Seth over at Dress Up Bolts to get a better understanding about these bolts because I didn't know until recently that colored titanium bolts for your engine bay was even a thing. Um, so he told me where this company kind of originated from and it was from an, uh, a JDM car importer. He was importing cars into the States and he noticed that he got a bunch of mismatched and rusty bolts from like due to Japan, like switching stuff up, putting non-OEM bolts in place and stuff and some of them were rusting and he's, he's just started sourcing his own bolts to replace the old ones to make them look good and then once he had all the sizing down and everything he was getting them from like hardware stores and then he just started making them himself and started tight doing titanium because they're corrosion resistant and uh, they're also lightweight and they're they're the weight of aluminum but the strength of stainless steel um, so yeah and then he just started coloring them now this kit that we have for the Super is the Stage 1, that's a 50 piece uh, titanium hardware kit for the FRS Beers the 86. We have two engine bay kits, we have a partial that's 40 pieces, and then we have a full blown engine hardware kit that's all of pieces, that's 80 pieces of titanium hardware. Then we also have a trunk hardware kit as well. Now the instructions that they provide is very straightforward, it has a picture, it's color, and it shows where all the bolts go and what number of bolt, and they're all numbered in the bag. So very easy, you're supposed to take one out at a time and then replace it, so um, that's what we're going to do. Now all these bolts come on pretty easy, easy off, easy on, um, but there are four bolts that are a little bit tricky to get to and, and they are optional here. Um, you're really not going to see them, they're the ones right here, it's like the beginning of the bumper where, this, uh, where our carbon fiber piece is here, but this black piece here gets in the way and covers the bolts, the factory ones, so you can't take them out, you have to remove the entire bumper and um, this front a uh, piece that uh, the Toyota get badge goes over to get this black piece undone to give you enough space to then take those bolts off. We did, and um, the guys that dress up bolts, I asked them, and they're like, why did you want to replace those? Like, you can barely see them, but you can see it if you're coming from behind the car, walking up with the hood open. So for you guys, with the fine details, you want everything absolutely perfect, then that's the way you gotta do it. You gotta take the bumper off to get those bolts in.
Okay, so the Supra is back together, and if you did this whole process without the bumper removal, because there's these four bolts that you can't get to, those are optional. If you don't do that, and you just do the 46 other bolts, this probably would only take you 30 minutes to install. It's very simple, you take a bolt out, you put a new bolt in. Uh, it can't get more simpler than that. Now for our red anodized finish, it looks pretty dang good. When it's uh, backed by carbon or backed by a black background, they really pop in the engine bay. However, the rear, um, uh, the hood struts, those don't really pop because it's on a red painted hood anyways. But you know, you could always choose what color you want to get. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, this is not for everybody. These are for the guys and the girls that are chasing perfection. They want those small details because those small details are really going to push your car at a car show above everybody else's. They see that attention to detail, that little extra little bit you did that most people probably wouldn't have because I mean, at car shows, a lot of people have the same modifications. They all have different styles, and this would definitely put yours a little bit above somebody else who maybe had similar bolt-ons, but didn't have this, these, these engine bolts. They kind of like popped yours up just a little bit. Um, so I'll leave the links down in the description so you can check them out for a little bit more information. You can see the different colors that they come in. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to send us an email at sales at ftspeed.com, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Now let's get with it. Hey Todd, are you gonna stay there? Are you gonna stay in the shot? Okay, I'll just crop in or something.